Hey everybody, it's Boston. Hope you are doing good. So today's video, I'm going to be giving you some good insight into how to build and customize your avatar in Second Life 2022. So this is an update to my how to create a male avatar, which I did in 2021. But in this one, I'll be walking you through even more tips and recommendations, things like styling, shapes, add-ons, skins, inventory management, and just the process that I follow for managing lots of different looks. So if you're kind of newish to Second Life, this will be perfect for you, but it will also be really helpful for more experienced residents and perhaps those that are just looking to upgrade their look or create another avatar. I've also just launched my new store, which I'm really excited about. My new brand, Boscato, is open now on the marketplace. I've released a number of original shapes and style cards, which you can purchase, and that does include a one-to-one -one support service with me if you need it. So I'll be showing you some of those shapes and explaining how it all works throughout this video. And of course, I've arranged some goodies for you guys in partnership with Legacy. They have very kindly agreed to giving away three mesh bodies to three of my YouTube subscribers. You'll get to choose any mesh body from their full range and they're worth around 5,000 lindas each. So it's a very generous giveaway from them. Stay tuned, watch the video and I'll give you details of how to enter. And the majority of clothing that my avatars are wearing in this video are from the current round of TMD and Access. Both are shopping events in Second Life, so I'll be referring to those throughout the video and at the end I'll be showing you some of the outfits that I've put together. All right guys, so we are going back to basics with our starter avatar. Last time we made over gorgeous Greg, but today we have Artsy Ashton. I'm using the Firestorm viewer like I do for most of my videos. It has much more features than the standard Second Life viewer. So when you open up your inventory, go to your worn tab and we want to remove most of the items that we're wearing. So I can just right click the folder and remove from current outfit. We always need to have certain items on, such as a base layer, skin and eyes, but we'll be replacing those soon. First tip I'm going to give you is to click the settings button and then choose this option here. This means that when we double click our items in our inventory to add them to our avatar, rather than replacing what's already there, it will simply add to it. So when I first joined Second Life, I couldn't figure out why I would wear a tattoo and then it would replace it with a hair base. This option will stop that from happening. Next, we're going to attach our head, and for this avatar, I'm using the Elan head from Lilutka. They have the biggest and best range of heads in Second Life, in my opinion. So once you've unpacked the folder, we're going to add some of these items. To make our system avatar body disappear, when we apply everything, we need to wear an alpha mask. I always wear one which is bomb head and body with applier eyes. This means that we can wear bakes on mesh layers and add-ons without being restricted to a certain number of attributes. We're also attaching the Lelutka eyes, the head itself, the HUD, which is what we'll be using to configure and control the head, and don't forget the teeth. Next thing is to open up the body folder. Today, we're wearing the Legacy mesh body. Legacy have two main male bodies. The other one is named Athletic. I recommend the regular one over the Legacy Athletic one because although the Athletic body has a really nice aesthetic, it's just not as well supported by clothing creators because there isn't currently a developer kit for it. So it just means that some clothing may not be neatly rigged and you'll sometimes have clipping issues. Whereas the regular Legacy body that I'm wearing here is fully supported. So we're attaching our Legacy body and the body HUD, which will allow us to configure and control the body. The HUD is titled Edit with upscaled in brackets. There's also some briefs included in the pack to protect our modesty. So just open up the premium outfit folder and attach those. Now we need to fix this pasty looking system skin. So for the face skin, we're going to be wearing one named Wallace by Stray Dog. You'll get different versions in the pack, which we'll cover in a bit, but for now I want the one with eyebrows, so I'm wearing Tone 3 Natural. When you're adding your skin, you may see this crazy effect on the face, and that's because we're using an Evo X skin, but we haven't enabled Evo X on the head HUD. So we're gonna jump over to that and click the Evo X button. Now I've got a lot of light projection on the face right now, so it's looking a little bit overexposed. I'm just readjusting the sun position by choosing the personal lighting function from my quick preferences menu. And then I can just move the ball around the globe to reposition the light. Firestorm also have these two sliders beneath it. So if you prefer to use that rather than the globe, then do that because some people do struggle with it. 
One important thing I forgot to add here is the ear skin layer. This is just something we need to do with Evo X skins and it gives us a bit more flexibility if we want to jazz up our ears and wear different add-ons and attachments later. All right, so now we want to cover our clay looking body. I'm going to be wearing the body apply from Stray Dog again. Make sure you're wearing the same body tone as the face tone so that they match. For each tone, you'll receive different versions of the skin depending on whether you want body hair, tan lines or freckles on the skin. So we're adding the trail version for a little bit of body hair. If ever your body does this, where the system body is trying to burst through your avatar like aliens, you'll need to enable Bakes on Mesh on the body HUD. So just select the second style tab, click the body symbol if you're not already in there, and then just hit the apply bomb button. Make sure that you have media enabled in your preferences for this style tab to work. So at this point, we can start shaping our avatar however we see fit. You can right click your avatar, edit the shape and then move the sliders. But some people like to have a better starting point so you can buy shapes in World and on the marketplace. Today for this avatar I'm using one of my shapes which is named Isaac and I made this one specifically for the Elan head. In the advert I'm actually wearing a different stray dog skin named Jonathan but this shape is also going to work really well with the Wallace skin that we have on. So once you've purchased it from the marketplace, go to your received items in the bottom of your inventory. Then just double click the object. Click accept when the blue box pops up and then right click the box and choose detach. Then just jump over to your folder in your main inventory. And here we've got two shapes, one for legacy and one for blazer Jake. So it's the same head shape, but the body is slightly different for each. So we're using the legacy version, just double click and that will instantly reshape your body. Always add the eyebrow shape as well. Sometimes people forget this and it will affect the shape of your eyes. So this is starting to look a lot better. We're gonna be building up our avatar even more and making lots of changes. With my shapes, I also include a full style card with instructions. So this will guide you through all of the items that you need to purchase in order to resemble the photo. But of course, I always encourage you to create your own custom looks, which is why I show you lots of different styles in my videos. The landmarks to each of the stores are in the style cards, so you can just click them to open it up and teleport to the store. But let's get Isaac into shape. His head is getting a little bit chilly. I'm gonna attach a hair base here. There's a few different ones from the skin store not found which have recently been released and look super cool. Always good to get one which has different colors in the pack. And it's just good to have a hair base underneath any mesh hair that you want to add or just wear it on its own depending on what look you're going for. All right, let's talk about eyebrows for a minute because it's another thing that people understandably get very confused about. So broadly speaking, there are three different ways of applying eyebrows. So let me try and explain it in a simple and concise way. Firstly, there are eyebrows which are already painted onto the skin itself. Obviously, you can't do much with these like changing the color or the style. Editing the brow shape sliders does give some flexibility for the look of the brows, but it also affects the face and the eye shape, so be aware of that. Now, the other two options are to either use Bakes on Mesh brows or HD brows. We're gonna talk about HD brows first. I recommend these as they look the most realistic and have more depth. If you have a little look ahead, you can use the HUD to apply some of their inbuilt ones. So you'll need to swap to a browless version of the skin like I've already done. Otherwise, you'll have two layers of eyebrows on top of each other, which is never a good look. So with the Luluka ones, you can just choose one of the styles and then click the picture to apply them. Once you've got a style that you like, you can reposition them and resize them using the offset arrows. And we're also changing the color of the brows by selecting this menu and choosing HD brow. Then just tint it using the color palette. So I usually make them darker depending on the color of the hair. And this coloring and tinting process can be followed for any of the head parts listed over here. So it's a really useful feature for customizing your avatar. In addition to Lelooka HD brows, you can also buy other HD brows from other creators. I'm gonna try some here by Volkston. You get lots of different styles of the eyebrows so we can add a scar or change the color if we need to. If ever you need to remove the HD brows, just click the clear button on the Lelooka HUD and you're back to where you started. So let's add the Volkston ones. Again, I'm using the offset and size buttons on the Lelooka HUD. This is actually carrying over the previous tint that we applied to the brows. So you may want to revert this back to white so that we get the natural color that the creator made. 
and it's easy to add them back on either with the inbuilt Leluca ones or the Volkson ones which are purchased separately. HC brows aren't to be confused with Bakes on Mesh brows. These are two slightly different things, so make sure you check on the advert whether it says HD brows or if they're Bakes on Mesh. Hopefully that makes sense. On my shape style cars, I'll usually give detail and perhaps screenshots of any settings that I've configured on the HUD to resemble whatever's in the photo. In the majority of my videos, you'll know that I mostly wear eyes from Aviglam. They're much more realistic and impressive compared to the default ones with the head. Simple to attach, my Alpha has applier eyes enabled. So just double click the object in the Aviglam folder and then this will open up the HUD where you can add them. We want to pick the color that we like from the picture. The ABC represent different shades of the sclera, which is the wide of the eye. So A is the lightest and C is the darkest. And you can also choose if you want to apply the eye color just to the right or the left eye or both. So our avatar is looking a very fresh face for my liking. The next thing I'm adding is some facial hair. And for my dude, I'm using a release by Volkson named Sergi. So this is a universal layer that we're adding, which you can see by the three boxes. This is the fat pack, so there's different styles of the facial hair. Make sure you get the one that you like from the demo and by looking at the advert. If you want to tint it to a different color, just find the tintable version of the facial hair in your inventory main folder or within the worn tab. Select the object, right click and then choose edit. And then you can just choose a color from the palette, use the vertical bar on the right hand side to adjust the lightness and the darkness and just save whenever you're ready. It may be a good idea to save a copy of the original item so that you don't lose the original color. Depending on the shape in my style cars, I may recommend that you reposition the eyes. And you can do that by using the offset function in the Leluca HUD under the eye section by using the arrows and this is where you can resize them as well. Again, I'll usually add a screenshot to my style card if I've adjusted this so you can see my settings and replicate it on your side. And then I'm just applying the final add-ons to the body, things like body hair, tattoos, facial scars and piercings. All of the little details which creates more depth and realism to your avatar. And these are all of the quirky little things that I show in my videos just to give you some inspiration. And of course in my style cards I'll always list the landmarks so that you can find the items in world. Try out demos and just decide if it's for you. Alright, so just jumping over to my other avatar here, I get a lot of questions about resizing hair and also objects like necklaces. Many of these items have a resizing script built into it and you can open up the menu by clicking the hair on your avatar or alternatively you can select the object from your inventory, right click and then hit the touch button. This is a really good tip if you're having trouble selecting it on your avatar, particularly jewelry which can be quite troublesome. With hair, usually when you first attach it, it's either going to be too big or too small. So once you've opened up the menu, we can adjust the X, Y, Z axis points. In the context of hair, usually Z alters the height, X will alter the width and Y will alter the depth. So I usually just spend a couple of minutes resizing and getting this into place. I may also reposition it slightly just by right clicking the hair, choose edit and then just use the arrows to move it vertically and horizontally. Always check the top of the head and the sides to make sure it's not clipping or creating bold patches. And this fitting process will be different for every head and hair that you purchase. When you're adding and detaching layers, one of the most common things you'll come across is that it may look like a layer has disappeared or isn't showing. It's most likely because the skin is sitting on top of it. So reorder your layers by right clicking your avatar, edit outfit, and then use the arrows to move the head skin to the bottom. This also resolves a lot of neck issues if you have a visible line even if you're wearing the same tone from the same skin creator. By the way, this shape is also for sale at Boscato named Raiden. I'm wearing the Not Found Thomas skin here, but it also looks really good with other Not Found skins. So I've just swapped this over to the Aaron skin which makes the lips look a lot different to the Thomas and I'm a fan of both. Hot tip here, if you want to add more maturity to the skin, you can actually do that within the Leluca HUD. Click the HD button, then the eyelid icon. And if you choose the second option, you'll get this really impressive aging around the eyes. You can actually combine two layers on top of each other by clicking the second layer tab and then choosing another texture such as this shadow option. A lot of people forget some of these options within the HUD. So have fun, play around. These options are really cool if you want to add more character to the eyes and face. 
Guys, I'm also releasing this other shape and style card named Cyrus, which you can purchase from my store. This is on the Leluka Aeon head, and I've matched this with another Stray Dog skin. The Stray Dog skin I'm wearing here is named Greg. It's currently at the Axis event until the first week of February, depending on when you're watching this. After that, the skin will be moved to the Stray Dog main store. But this shape is pretty versatile, so you can try it with other skins if you prefer that. At the moment, my brand, Boscato, is mainly focused on shapes. I have been learning 3D modeling in Second Life. So my plan is to start releasing some high quality mesh items for you to purchase in 2022. And I'll also be opening my in-world store, which I really cannot wait to share with you guys. And also just creating more YouTube video content and tutorials for the process of creating mesh using 3D software, because I always like to share knowledge and teach you best practice from what I've learned. So before I show you some more of the outfits and looks from TMD and Access, let's open this giveaway. As I mentioned, Legacy are offering three of my subscribers a body of their choice. To enter, all you need to do is like the video, drop a comment below, say hi, let me know what you think of the looks. There are no right or wrong answers. Please try and share this video on social media, guys. And in five days time, I'll be using TubeBuddy to randomly pick three eligible winners from the comments. And I'll be announcing it on a community post on my YouTube channel. So of course, make sure you're subscribed and click the bell icon to stay on top of my notifications. Like I mentioned, a lot of these outfits I'm wearing are from TMD and Access, two amazing events that I vlog for. The way shopping events work in Second Life is that each month designers will have an exclusive new release which they showcase at the event. It's a really good way to discover different creators because you can always check out their booth at the event and then teleport to their main store if you want to see more of their stuff. TMD and Access are known for featuring some of the highest quality designers in Second Life. TMD is focused on menswear and home decor. Access includes lots of female designers as well as men's and furniture. I'm always so impressed by each round for both events and always find new and upcoming creators as well. If you're just starting out in Second Life and you don't want to immediately spend lots of lindens on clothing and furniture, check out the weekend sales. There's lots in Second Life. I'd recommend Happy Weekend, 50 Linden Fridays and the Saturday sale. This is where you can get high quality stuff at a reduced rate and it helps to justify being a shopping addict without breaking the bank balance. I mentioned female items. I do create content for female avatars as well. I have actually just released this Una shape at Buscato. And although my styling videos are more focused on male avatars, I will be creating more female and unisex items for my store. So let me know if you want to see more of that. But of course, my content is for everybody. If you identify as female, but you want to create a male avatar or vice versa, I am all for it. It's the beauty of Second Life. Get creative, express yourself, and just have fun along the way. Feel free to check out my Flickr and my Instagram where I shoot photos and post blogs showing you new releases in Second Life. I'm also gonna be producing more YouTube photography tutorials, which everyone can enjoy. But thank you for watching, guys. I hope this video was useful. Please share it with friends, particularly newcomers to Second Life or anyone who wants to upgrade their avatar in 2022. I've got lots of other tutorials on my channel. I'll link the playlist in my video description. Good luck with the giveaway. I'll be announcing the results in five days time after I've published this video. So look out for that. Take care of yourself, be good, and I will see you soon.